week of women ahead of International Women's Day on Wednesday with a seriously awesome woman, Megan MacArthur. Not only is she the keynote speaker this Friday at the 8th Annual Colorado Women's Day event, she's a PhD and NASA astronaut. In 2009, she was aboard the final space shuttle mission to the Hubble Space Telescope, and today she joins us to talk about her amazing career and Colorado Women's Day. So, Megan, thank you so much for taking the time out and uh, talking with us today. I want to start with your career. It is a magnificent uh, career. PhD, engineer, astronaut. How did you get your start in the STEM fields? Um, that's a great question. So I grew up um, as a little girl. Uh, my father was in the Navy. He was a Navy pilot and our family moved all over the world as um, part of his career. And so I was always around airplanes. And so when I was a really little girl, if you'd asked me what I wanted to do, I would have said, I want to be a pilot just like my father. Um, but we, we lived on one military base that shared a space with a NASA training center. And so I, I started to see astronauts come and go when I was a teenager. And that's when I first started to think, now I wonder, what do you have to do to get a job like that? Because that looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, that was the inspiration behind all of this. You know, we love all things space here, especially the images that we get to see from the James Webb and Hubble telescopes. Um, what was that like to be a part of that mission to the telescope? So my first mission, that was a tremendous thing to be a part of. As a scientist, of course, I'm an oceanographer, but not an, not an astronomer, not an astrophysicist, but to get to be part of a mission like that, that really contributes to the, our understanding of the universe and, and sort of our place in it was pretty incredible. Um, I loved being a part of that crew and um, getting to do that incredible work. So whenever we see images come still from the Hubble Space Telescope, I just feel very grateful to have been able to be part of something like that. Yeah, well, you are Colorado Women's Day keynote speaker. You definitely deserve it. Why is this event so important? Well, for me, so in 2021, I spent over 200 days or 200 days on the International Space Station. And when you live in this isolated environment, right, it's kind of a stark environment, you realize how important community is to you. Um, you support one another, you inspire one another, right, you celebrate one another. And that's true in space, just like it is on Earth. And so for me to get to participate in an event like this, where it's a community, in this case, a community of, of women who are coming together um, and in support of science, technology, engineering, and math careers and education um, that's something that I'm, I'm absolutely here for that and so you know we we can support one another as mentors and as colleagues I'm particularly happy um, to get to honor some young women in STEM uh, for their achievements you know the work that they do the more people we get coming into the, this environment of, of science technology engineering and math these kids are, are training their brains right for critical thinking and problem solving and that's going to be exactly what we need uh, you know in this country and on this planet going forward so so I'm excited to be a part of it. Well, you are truly an inspiration. By the way, I love your necklace. The pendant Thank you. This is, is from my first mission. Yeah. Which shuttle is that? Uh, well, it's a, yeah, it's a space shuttle, and I was on Space Shuttle Atlantis. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, thank you so much again for talking with us today. Absolutely. Thanks very much and see you soon. Okay. And you can find all of our stories about fantastic women as we celebrate our week of women on our website, cbscolorado.com.